Hi everybody, this is Ellen. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make the letter I. I for incredible, interesting. <laughs> um, band wise it's 260 bands and don't forget when you make it to use some crazy bands or add some wrap bands to kind of give it your own style. But it's hopefully not too hard to make. We do something a little bit different with the connecting in there. But we'll get started. One loom wrong end towards me. Everything is double banded. So first we're going to start kind of how about the seventh or sixth pin up on the side here. Sixth. Two bands cross over to the right. Then two bands right on top. And then on these two pins right here, we're going to do cap bands, which are going to be two bands wrapped around one time. Same thing on the other side, like that. Then you'll take your hook, go in through the cap band on the right, because that's the band that's on the bottom, pull those bands up, pull them back across the loom, then go on to the left side, do the same thing, in through the cap band, pick up the bottom two bands and pull them back across, and then push those down. And now we need to do seven rows around the four pins with two bands. So, go all the way around. like that, and then flip the bottom four, push your bands down, mark your row, so that's one, go around again, like that, Flip the bottom four, push your bands down, mark your row, and we'll take our hook and go in through the center here and just kind of pull the bands up over the top of the pin, like that. And do another row. that, flip the bottom four, push your bands down, mark your row, another row around, like that, flip the bottom four again, Push your bands down. You can try and pull this up a little bit more. Mark your row. Two bands around again. And flip the bottom four. Push them down, mark your row, two bands around again. We're getting there. Like that. Flip the four on the bottom. Push your bands down, mark your row. So this will be our last row around with the two bands. So 
we needed to do seven. Like that. Flip the bottom four. Push your bands down. So now we're going to do is add um, two X's before and two X's after. So if we come back two pins from where we start here, so one, two, and take two bands on the left, cross them up to the right, and two more bands right over the top in an X. And again, from the left to the right, and then right over the top. Like that. And on these two pins, we're going to do the cap bands. It'll be two bands wrapped around one time, both sides. So like that. And then after, starting on the left over here, two bands crossed over to the right and then cross right on top and then from the left to the right again and then from the right to the left and then again on the top two pins here it would be the cap band wrapped one time so like that so what we'll do is loom up the axis. To take your hook, go in through the cap band on the right side. So that's the band that's on the bottom. Grab those two bands, pull them up through the cap band, bring them back across the loom, and then go on the left side and do the same thing. Like that. And then right. And then left. Like that and then come down below. Again on the right side you'll go through just the cap band. Grab those two bands that are part of the X. You're not going to do anything with those four bands underneath. Pick up those two bands through the cap band, bring them across, and then do the same thing on the other side. Through the cap band, grab the two bands, but don't touch the bottom four. Bring it across, and then right side, and back to the left side. Like that. Push your bands down. So now we're going to do is a row all the way around times three. So two bands all the way around. like that. And then for flipping the first row, it's four at the top, four on the second one. Next one's down we'll have the eight. And eight again. And then four below. And it'll be the same thing on the other side, four at the top. And eight right here. Eight on the next one. And then four on the bottom. Like that. Push those down. And we need another row all the way around. Two bands.
like that. Flip the bottom four all the way around. Like that, push your bands down, and then one more row all the way around, two bands. Like that. Flip the bottom four all the way around again. Like that. So then you want to unstick this off from the middle, if you haven't already. Like that. And push these down a little bit. So what we're going to do is close this up by braiding. So I'm going to stick my hook in through the right side, take those bands off the pin, go in through the left side, Pull them through the right, then through the left, or through the right, through the left, and then the left, through the right, and just keep alternating as I go down the loom. Careful when you get down towards the end. I'll grab these right ones, pull those through, and then over to the left. And then once you get to the point where you have the two sets on your hook, just leave those on, take two bands, pull them through everything on your hook, and then make a slip knot. I'm just going to hide these bands right away. So now, right about now, you're like, uh, I thought I was making an I, not a T. What is going on? So we're going to make the other half of this. And how we do that, so if you look at the bottom of this, you have the um, cap bands. It should be fairly noticeable. They usually poke out a little bit sometimes if you're yank it on those when we pull the first row up. So you have the cap bands, which are four bands, or look like four bands, but it's two bands. And then in that same row, you have the other side of basically that X that we made initially. So you have the four bands here, four here. So it kind of looks like a little flower. So what we're going to do is turn this upside down onto the loom and pull these out to the pins around and then we'll build the other half on top of it. So starting up here somewhere in the middle you just want to make sure you're lined up this way and not this way. No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. Go in through some of those bands that are on the side that will line up. So let's put these up here once behind it, we'll come back and looking on the other side here's that other cap band 
And then last we have four bands that go up here. It's basically just stretched everything out like a big X. It's sitting on top of the pin because there's nothing, it's closed on the bottom so there's nowhere for it to go up. So it's not super stable. So be careful that they don't pop off. And then what we're going to do is create our X's again before and after, just like we did for this top portion. So coming back from here, one, two, and then again from the left to the right, and then from the right to the left, and then left to the right, and right to the left. Like that. And on the right side, we're going to do, or both sides here, we're going to do cap bands. It's two bands wrapped around one time, still. Same thing on the other side, like that. And then we'll do the two X's after. So again, starting on the left, over to the right, cross right over the top, and left to the right, and then right to the left. Then we'll do the cap bands again. The two bands are up one time. Like that. So we'll loom these out. Going through the right side, through the cap bands, grab those two bands below, pull them up, and pull them back across the loom. Same thing on the left side, through the cap band, pick up the bottom two bands, bring them back across, and the right. And the left. Like that. And we'll do the same thing down here. Through the cap band, pick up the two bands that are part of the X. We don't want to pick up anything that was attached to this right here, so just those two bands, part of the X. Pull them back. Across to the other side. Same thing with the left side, just through the cap band. And picking up those two bands. And pulling them back across. And right and left. Like that. So that's what you have now. So we're going to do the three rows around. So two bands all the way around three times. Like that. Then for flipping, it would be four at the top, four on the next one. And then these two in the middle here, we're going to have the eight. And then four, and four. And it would be the same thing on the other side. Four, four, eight and eight. Like so. Like that. Then do another row all the way around, two bands,
like that. Then you flip the bottom four all the way around. And then one more row all the way around with the two bands. Like that. Flip over the bottom four. All the way around. Then you want to loosen up all the bands in the center. Push your bands down. Then we're going to close this up by braiding, just like we did the up here. I'm going to take my hook going through the right side, just because that's where I'm comfortable starting. Pick those bands up and go to the left, pull those through and then alternate again down the loom just like before. And then when you get to the last ones, do the same thing as before. Keep them on your hook. Or don't do the slip knot with these ones. Pull through two bands or one band, whatever your preference. Back on the hook and then do a slip knot with those. And then you want to hide the knot from this. Pull it down in. Tell you that the knot disappears or it goes flush with the top. There we go. So that if it's not totally straight, usually it's just loosening up the braid along the top. You pull tighter, or you pull t pretty tight as you go um, down the loom. So then you're squishing it, and so you just kind of pull those out, and it straightens it up pretty well. If you have any gaps, like major gaps right here, like I don't even really see the mine, I guess. Um, if you have any gaps in here where it shows where we connected the two from the stretching, just take your hook and kind of pull the bands together and that should help to reduce any gap you have there. Like that. You're supposed to stay hidden. when the little tie bands pop out. It's like I hid you for a reason. 
but you know what? We'll just flip it over. You'll never see it. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> so, I hope that wasn't too hard. Um, just the connecting, I think, is the biggest issue. But hopefully it's... Um, I think those parts are pretty big, so they're easy to see. But I hope that you enjoyed making these, and um, definitely if you make something with them, words, stories, your initials, anything, and you, have, you know, if you just spruce up a letter, you can definitely show me on my Instagram, which is at Crafting Fantastic, or on my Facebook, which is Feeling Spiffy, and then. I will definitely have more for you soon, and if you subscribe to my channel, you'll know when that soonness is. But thank you very much for watching.